Eden Prime. This is where it all began. Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. And where Saren launched his first major attack with the Geth. Yes. And now, with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. They deserve better. I know. The Alliance did what it could to evacuate colonists, but... Cerberus came in so quickly. If we find survivors, we'll do what we can. What about this artifact? Any idea whether it's part of the Crucible? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. Since the original dig site here contained a warning about the Reapers, it could be connected to the Crucible. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Understood. All right, everyone, get ready to move. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. No sign of survivors. Come on, we need to find the dig site. It survived, Sarah. It can survive this. The city on Earth where I grew up was hard and dirty. You can see it as a war zone. Even Prime doesn't deserve this. Nobody does. <clears throat> Shepard, this Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. There. That's the elevator that leads down into the dig site. Goddess, that doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... A Prothean? Like the Collectors, or those bodies we found back on Ilos? Like the bodies we found back on Ilos. But this one is alive. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. Whatever he is, he's better with us than with Cerberus. Open the pod. Of course. Ah. <sighs> Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No. Breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. There they are. found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to find the stasis deactivation signal.
will sleep here until the Reapers return to Dark Space. Then we will rise, a million strong. For the Empire. For the Empire. Get to your stasis port. Victory. Broadcast the stasis readiness signal to all life pods. And the refugees who have yet to reach the bunker. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. I've got the signal. You understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The Prothean cipher you received on Pharos, it lets you see the images as a Prothean would, and understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video, and the signal they used. Perfect. Then we just need to figure out how to physically open the pod. How many have we lost? Reaper forces have destroyed approximately 300,000 life pods. Transmitting the signal. Perfect. It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process it. Heavy Cerberus forces inbound. Looks like we've got a siege on our hands. Second to catch our breath. If anybody needs fresh clips or a bathroom break, now's the time. Has the life pod ended stasis mode? We're almost there. I saw a supply cache in the building next door if you want to stock up. I can lay down a singularity to block enemy access.
can open the life pod now. It may take him some time to fully regain consciousness. Careful, he's confused. Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been a few minutes. No, the bunker is fine. There is no other option. There are pods online. Those soldiers are still alive. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire. Preparing neutron bombardments. Get to your life pod now. Just you. <clears throat> you can understand me? Yes. Now that I've read your physiology, your nervous system, enough to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing... Our last moments. Our failure. I saw what happened to your people. I know you must be grieving. But they died 50,000 years ago. My people are dying right now. Shepard, whatever you did, got Asari. Human. Terrian. I am surrounded by primitives. It's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. That's correct, Admiral. But he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? I intend to find out. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. Shepard, I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. I'm on my way. What's the problem? I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. 
Apologies, Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. But he's not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. We've never met one before. Nothing wrong with playing it safe. Should we be worried? That depends on you. For a soldier facing the Reapers, I sense more confidence than fear. You believe you are winning. What do you mean, you sense? All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. Then what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Like your beacons? Yes. Which... You found one. You saw it all. Our destruction. Our warnings. Why weren't they heated? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? It's Commander. And nobody could understand your warnings. The beacon nearly killed me. <sighs> then communication is still primitive in this cycle. We pieced together what we could, and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Now we have your plans for the Crucible. We've started building it. Crucible? The weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. We never finished it. It was too late. Then I take it you don't know anything about the Catalyst. No. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art, killing. What was your mission? Among my people, there were avatars of many traits. Bravery, strength, cunning. A single exemplar for each. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. I am the anger of a dead people. Demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. Only when the last Reaper has been destroyed will my purpose be fulfilled. I have no other reason to exist. Those who share my purpose become allies. Those who do not become casualties. Nothing in our fight against the Reapers has been that cut and dried. Because you still have hope that this war will end with your honor intact. I do. Stand in the ashes of a trillion dead souls and ask the ghosts if honor matters. This silence is your answer. We found this at the dig site. I assume it belongs to you. It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the Crucible? No. It contains only pain. But I will help you fight. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die... ...will be the last voice of the Protheans, sending them to their grave. If you don't mind... I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Here it comes. I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals that... Amusing. Asari have finally mastered writing. I'm sorry? Never mind. What do you wish to know? 
Thank you for talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Oh? To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Solarians. The lizard people evolved? I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies? Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik. And welcome aboard the Normandy, Javik. <laughs>